subscriptions, you pay for that, or my partner LGU. Uh, and food, etc. How much? Yes, around five to eight million, Madam Chair. Five million for one trip. Five to eight million. Five to eight. Yes. And what's your budget for NEP? In NEP for that? NEP. For product? Um, it's Italy? around one hundred twenty-seven million for the Philippine experience. So you can do how many provinces? Is it regions or provinces? You're going to do provinces? Um, regions. But our intention is to cover as many regions, yeah. as many provinces as possible. So We've only covered twenty-two so far divided. out of the. How many is that? If it's hundred, what is in your NEP? One two seven. Yeah, divided by five. So I'm gonna tip it in at five. Seven. Seven point five. Seven point five. Yes. Seven point. How many? It's around seven point five million per region. Yes. So how many can you do with the budget you have? Sixteen. So you cover all regions with your budget. You've covered all regions already, but not all provinces. Not all provinces. Yes. Okay. So. Um, give us a proposal. Uh, give us the list. Uh, have you earmarked it already? Not yet. Hindi pa naman. It's multo siya, no? Yes. Bipiliin pa nyo yung mga probinsya at yung mga... So, ganito. 127 for product development. That includes the Philippine Experience, which is the community-based tourism program. That also includes the uh, the skills training. The skills training is a separate item at uh -huh. 91.8 million, Tabi Madam Chair. Na. So, iba yon. So, naka, this is all MOE? Yes. Is it all MOE? Yes. Yes, all MOE. And you've not determined yet the regions and the provinces. But give me na lang the breakdown of oh. your 7.5. Yes, you we have determined the regions, but the provinces are subject to site validation. Okay, you've predetermined the regions, of course. Covered na yung buong 16, di ba? Oo. So, in short, wala pa yung mga probinsya. But give me the kind of programs that you already had from your previous and uh, how you'll enhance it. Uh, I'm not imposing on you, but my suggestion is to include nature or a better term, but not just culture and arts, which is I love. But di ba maganda may nature then? Oo. Okay. Sige. Um, and your it's 127, and your ask is to increase that. So give me your regions under that province's recommendation, not now, within the week. Then I'll review it and perhaps adjust it upwards and give you additional budget for that. But I want to see the breakdown of the 7.5. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Madam so Chair. National stakeholders and uh preparation of the local hosts meaning pensions homes hotels uh resorts etc and tour operators mga jeep sasakyan bus magkakano restaurant at saka media tama promotions and meetings yes correct kanda iba pa yung skills training mm -mm. under what ano yung nomenclature don uh before the skills, Madam Chair, I wanted to add that we have also made the effort to invite members of the diplomatic corps, um, especially those uh, whose countries have existing travel advisories against particular regions. <laughs> yes. Uh, for pertaining to the tourism industry skills, uh, it is now at uh, 91.8 million. Program. What is the nomenclature? Yes, yeah, TISP. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Tourism Industry Training Program, Madam Chair. But yeah, um, just explain to me because I had before it, I had training of the Iray non Bukid Nons in Tibiao Antique uh, for. Basic hospitality. Okay. I think housekeeping, cleaning rooms, fixing beds, serving. Uh -oh. Is that how what you do? You can even partner with Desta for this, right? Mm. Yes, that's correct, Madam Chair. Can I, uh, may I kindly yield the floor to Undersecretary Rika Bueno, who can give us the overview of this program and the specifics as well? The, yes. 
You said bueno. Yes, what do you handle in tourism? Thank you, Secretary. Uh, good morning, Madam Chair. Um, I'm Rita Bueno and I handle um, standards and tourism um, training in the Department of Tourism. Um, the Department of Tourism po has uh, one of its major programs is really the provision of uh, skills trainings for all the tourism workforce in, in the industry, whether they be in the formal establishments and informal workers, uh, uh, which also includes our community-based tourism organizations. So um, the DOT po provides various trainings to all of the workers in the country, um, skills training and advocacy training programs. And as the secretary has mentioned, prior po for, uh, for example, in um, the the development and uh, of our PEP program in each destination, uh, our regional offices would conduct the preparatory uh, trainings for um, the host communities that would include different skills trainings, starting with the Filipino brand of uh, service excellence, which is really, really a um, communities uh, customer service excellence. Yeah. Um, Who does the training? You outsource it. We have a Great whole, yeah. yes, Madam Secretary, uh, uh, Madam Chair, for the Filipino brand of service excellence. We have um, regional trainers trained on the Filipino brand of service excellence. We have a pool of FBSE trainers per region. And in for the other skills training, we engage industry experts. Uh, some of them would also be test the um, certified trainers yes. and from the industry as well. Good. So do you partner with test the accredited institutions for the um, training, right? Last year, po, the secretary signed the memorandum of understanding with TESTA specifically for the provision of skills training for for prospective so, workers in the industry the as well as current so workers. It's launched with you, DOT, but this budget goes to the TESTA trainers to train the people in the area for the skills. Um, for the budget lodged in Tesla. There is a budget lodged in Tesla for the Tesla uh, scholarship program. I understand they have a an allotment for the tourism sector under their Tesla scholarship program. But the DOT has its own uh, skills training fund under the tourism industry skills uh, training program or the tourism industry training program. And we engage our own uh, pool of uh, experts in various fields, mm -hmm. um, and Madam Chair. Ang pinaka gusto ng tao sa uh, na karanasan nyo, naranasan nyo. It's actually po the community tour guides training mm -hmm. and the culinary training. The community tour guides training po would really be dependent on the type of activity where these uh, locals would be trained. For example, um, we're opening up um, hiking trail in one mountain or, or you know, caving. So we have specialized, the community tour guiding training would be specialized for cave guides, for mountain guides, even for mangrove um, guiding or even bird watching, Madam Chair. And we, we have uh, engaged experts in various fields in this regard. Okay, good. So you can, yeah, you can, you should, and you, I'm glad you do, partner with TESDA because we, also um, handle the budget. No, we used to. It's Joel now, no? Okay. Yeah, Joel, yeah. Um, should partner with Tesla. And um, the DOLE GIPs, Government Internship Program, can also be trained as local tour guides. You can partner with DOLE. Anyways, again, proceed. Uh, Madam Chair, with regard to the DOLA GIP, we are actually um, coordinating with them currently to pilot the GIP uh, internship for our prospective uh, workers as well for the industry. So we're working on the mechanics, uh, Madam Chair. Skills training include DRR as well? Yes, Madam Chair. We actually Except have... The risk reduction, which should also include... First aid and emergency. Yes, right. Madam Chair, we have uh, those modules. Um, um, we have the first aid and the basic life support uh, training. We also have uh, the water, um, especially if the activity is you know water based. Yeah. Um, we offer WASAR, the water safety and rescue um, uh, training. We also have the basic incident command system training and um, other emergency response trainings for our frontliners, uh, Madam Chair. 
yung culture agencies ng gobyerno, merong simpleng module o template para sa inyo. Let's say, ang National Historical Commission, ang NCCA, even an NCIP in areas where there are sensitivities, where there are indigenous people, para yung respeto sa kultura ay hindi ba sa mag intrude o ganito, i-picture, di ba, respeto. Again, I cite Luang Prabang. Like, we were briefed uh, in the morning at 6 a.m. when the monks come out in the main thoroughfare, which is just a small road. You don't take photos. You don't stare at them while they're praying and take photos in their face, right? And and be silent. And re they they request the silence of uh, the meditative Buddhist monks. Yung ganun, respeto. Uh, kaya maganda sa special provision. This is not budgetary. We will do a special provision where um, the NCCA, NHP, NHCP, ah, National Museum, where there are museums handled by NCCA because they're cultural or SLTs, which are not museums, but schools of living tradition, where there are national museums and its branches, uh, where there are museums under NHCP because they're historical in nature. It should be part of the Philippine experience, perhaps, uh, and uh, the NCIP to help you in addressing sensitivities or even awareness of indigenous peoples and rural peoples, not indigenous, but there are customs and traditions that need to be, people need to be aware of it and respected. Hindi ba? Pagulo ba ko? Gets nyo, no? Okay, okay. <laughs> so, gagawa tayo ng special provision na ganon para ang ating Philippine experience ay holistic, socially inclusive, culturally inclusive. Mm -hmm. Tapos, si NCCA and all agencies attached to it, may module binigay sa inyo kasama yan ng training sa mga tinetrain nyo. Mm -hmm. Okay, please continue. So every year, po, Madam Chair, uh, the DOT is uh, accorded with a budget of um, uh, for the industry skills uh, program. And next year, we have the 91.8 million, as mentioned by the Secretary. For um, and it's um, this is also shared with all the regional offices. And for next year, each regional office would have um, a budget also corresponding. Um, uh, I mean, charged to the 91.8 uh, 91 million for their corresponding tourism industry skills uh, program per region. Where does Pamana Tour fall under? Sanam Pamana Tour. Where does it fall under? Under product development, under the Philippine Experience. If I may, Madam Chair, it uh, falls under the Philippine Experience Program. Since the Philippine Experience Program actually has four thematic areas that it covers. So first, we have the um, Pamana, which pertains to our living cultural, uh, historical heritage. Um, and then we have the Lika, which pertains to our arts. We have the um, Suri Suri, which uh, covers uh, the destinations itself and the natural assets of the destination. We have the Ha'in or the Salo Salo, which pertains to our um, gastronomy and culinary heritage. And then we have the Kalinao, which uh, covers our pilgrimage and wellness component. Have it here. It's a comprehensive uh, report. Thank you for providing my office. Um, this is in Filipino, right? Tagalog. Pa in salosalo, no? Yeah. Now is correct. also Filipino. Pamana is Filipino. Lika is Filipino. But but suri suru is Cebuano. Yes. So I think we should be consistent. Are we using a Cebuano words or? Filipino words because um suri suri in our language kinaraya is lagaw lagaw sa tagalog gala gala so okay lang ba na ang gamitin natin iba ibang languages it's okay because suri suri kilala na yan yes. na una kayo Correct. so suri suri then we just explain this is a Cebuana word but there are different meanings right but in tagalog or Filipino it's uh, gala gala yes. diba? I mean, Correct. 
sa amin, lagaw-lagaw, mm-hmm. ganun. We try to be as inclusive as possible in terms of our ethno-linguistic Pero wala na naman nature dito. Oh. Um, maganda may gastronomy, magandang may pilgrimage at wellness, magandang may historical and cultural, magandang may arts, dyan papasok yung mga MSMEs, mm-hmm. festivals mm-hmm. yung suri-suroy, parang wala ang nature tourism, farm tourism, wala din. Um, Would you like to include that? We incorporate it uh, in either the heritage component, especially when there is a declared site, uh, and then in the wellness component. For example, Madam Chair, um, when we were in uh, Iloilo, there was a specific uh, farm tourism site that was included in the Philippine Experience Program. Could I request you, please? Kasi meron namang kayong nature-based tourism, eh. Bakit hindi nakasama? Kasi meron kayong nature-based tourism. Mm, but is it different? Itong inyong nature-based tourism and activities okay. and but is it a different plan from your Philippine experience? Why don't you include that and not have a separate one? Kasi maganda na yung isa eh. Na- Philippine experience. Nandiyan ang arts and crafts and heritage. Nandiyan ang wellness at ganito. Isa pa na ang nature doon. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Yeah. Ito bang nature-based tourism is a different caravan or Philippine experience? Mm-hmm. The nature-based tourism, Madam Chair, is interspersed in the regional tourism circuits that supports their ecotourism destination. Ah, iba kasi yun. Correct, yes. But uh-huh. I think that uh, that's a brilliant suggestion in terms of making a conscious effort to incorporate nature um, offerings into yes. the Philippine experience. Because where you have nature, let's say, protected areas, whether under NIPAS, National Integrated Protected Areas, uh, nationally legislated, or those which are legislated through municipal ordinances. Let's say kami, so Northwest Panay Peninsula. Oh, magandang isama yun, tapos trekking, pero Sa barangay kung san meron yun, meron naman silang Santa Rosario Multipurpose Cooperative na may mga baryo bag na gumagawa. Pero meron din bundok, meron din halo-halo siya. So magandang may arts and culture, isama na nyo ang nature. Hindi naman bawal maglagay doon, pero meron pa rin kayong nature-based tourism, hindi ba? Mm-hmm. Oo, just to add it yes in the consciousness of people and in your programs. yes So it's nature and culture actually. Not just culture, right? Mm-mm. Okay, so um, we talked about product development, and that's where the Philippine experience is. And your nature-based tourism and the National Tourism Development Plan, where does this fall under? The product development, your budget for this? Uh, it still falls under product and market development, Madam Chair. Okay, um, so I'll support both and... Um, see your plans and uh, possibly do some augmentations in your budget there and the trainings as well and do the special provision for the uh, convergence with TESDA and the special provision for NCCA and the attached agencies to include that. Okay, so let's proceed now with the agencies. Um, Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. And the budget of 3B is only the DOT, the attached agencies have their own budgets, right? Yes, they have okay. their own budget Thank you. proposals. Thank you, Secretary. Yes. We proceed with the National Tourism Board. Yes, Marga. Um, my buntag, Madam Chair, good morning. Uh, can we flash our presentation? Okay. Um, We are the Tourism Promotions Board Philippines, the marketing and promotions arm of the Philippine Department of Oh, sorry, Please, sorry, Chair. Oh. Uh, before you proceed, what is this? Uh, okay. Uh, before we proceed with that, no? Uh, I'm, I know that perhaps emanating from DOT, uh, this uh, errors do not happen. Maybe when you print paraphernalia in the provinces, it happens. Uh, I saw this long ago. This was 2023. Uh, this year. Hmm. Dito nang galing sa, sana sa inyo. It says 
love the Philippines, Banawe Rice Terraces, Benguet. You know, if there's anything that really triggers me, it's really it's really misinformation and uh, wrong uh, wrong knowledge, right? Mm -mm. We know very well that the Banawe Rice Terraces does not belong to Banawe because Baguio City is Banawe and Banawe is in Ifugao. Yeah. So just a question. Did this come from DOT or it's those who printed it in Cordillera? Let's be very, very careful with accuracy. Accuracy. Otherwise, we'll be marketing the wrong provinces. Mali. Uh -uh. It was just given to me. I saw this long ago. Ah, this was seen in the Naia. Baka naman sila ang gumawa nun. Hmm. Oh, it was an advertising firm. Oh, why are they like that? <laughs> anyway, uh, be careful when you get, you know, it happens to me every day. Every day. Hmm. Some staff, some people, outsource uh, media suppliers. We don't know. They don't know geography. They don't know basic things that Filipinos must know. Mm. So, hindi na siyempre nakakontrol ni Secretary lahat yan. Oo. Yes. But this has been corrected. Let's be very careful. Mm -mm. Madam Chair, this was a most unfortunate oversight that uh, Hindi kayo, no? Yung advertising. this was actually Madam handled. Yun? This was the DOT branding unit, Madam Chair, uh, which uh, outsourced um, the placement of the erroneous advertorial material. Yeah. And so uh, upon uh, when the matter was brought to our attention, the uh, erroneous material was taken down in the immediate yeah, and uh, a comprehensive sweep of all materials in the thousands yes. all over the world was conducted to ensure the proper. Yeah, Kaya dapat the source the palang eh. Yeah, yes, it happens even in the Senate, and it really triggers me for mga mali, stupidities. Eh. Sorry, I I want to know the name of the ad agency so that I'll never get them. <laughs> Which agency was this? No, have to put it on record so that I might mistakenly get them. I, I cannot stand stupidity. Anong ahensya? If I may refer to Asik Jusela Kisumbeng, Madam Chair, who um, handles our branding unit. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Secretary. Madam Chair, yes. Um, the agency involved in the erroneous material is actually IPG Media Brands. What's that? IPG? They are our creative agency. Okay. And yeah. everybody makes mistakes, but they should be more careful and they should not waste, not just a wastage of government resources, but also the embarrassment, right? It's unfair yeah. to the secretary. Yeah. She faces the world. It's unfair to us senators. We face the public. And so you understand, because they think, minsan sobrang... Stricto eh. Kailangan ganun. Hanggang sa huling coma, hanggang sa kulay, hanggang sa spelling. But this is a factual error. So complete staff work must be observed by everyone and anyone. Whether you are a cleaner or a copywriter, whether you're a tour guide or a secretary, right? That goes for all of us. Yeah. So thank you for that information. And again, ang hirap kami. Yan, si Christina. Kami yung gumaharap sa tao. Tapos, ang masama, kami, or opisina, or iba black prop. Unfair. Eh, galing naman doon. Hindi, hindi niya pwedeng sabihan. Kasi yung advertising agency, kami yung gumaharap sa tao eh. Kaya, yeah. Dapat matuto ng leksyon. Pero dapat naman, chinek ninyo. Um, actually, Madam Chair, as in any inaccuracy, everyone, including the agencies involved, should really go through the proper vetting. Yes, yes. So, nakikinig kayo lahat, ha? Ganyan, ganyan. Sige. Okay. Um, proceed. Thank you for that. Oh. I, and thank you for your honesty. Yeah, right? And then, the, so ngayon, ayan, I want, wait, before you go. How did you correct that? Para makikinig din yung aking mga bagong staff sa akin. Kasi we have outsourced, we can't do it with a staff of 20 lang in the Senate or 30. How do you do it? Tapos, Believe it or not, people don't read. Sometimes, ang kanya attention span. O di ba detalye? So it's not a vice. It's not a luxury. It's a basic need to be accurate and factual. We owe it to our public. Right? 
So, anong gamot na ginawa nyo para yun din gagawin opisina ko? Um, as the, sorry, as the, as the secretary already mentioned, Madam Chair, um, upon the receival of the news of this erroneous material. No, got... no, I mean, what process do you do now so that it doesn't happen again? What kind of vetting? Um, from start to finish, Madam Chair, we really go through the proper vetting with regard to with having the materials passed through. There's a group for a person offices. in charge. It goes through a very tedious process right now. Uh, uh, memo me. Through the from secretary, the process, I'll make my staff read it. All right. If we'll do that, my sure. process is not as tedious as yours, I will make it as tedious as yours. Okay. Right? Oh, because we cannot make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Noted, Madam Chair. Okay. We'll that. We will okay. pass it on. Thanks. Are you new? Uh, almost more than a year in. Uh, just one year. <laughs> yes. From Cebu. From my family originally. Okay. Yes. Sure. Okay. Proceed, Marga. Thanks. Um, Maim Buntag, ma'am. Maim Buntag. We are the Tourism Promotions Board Philippines, the marketing and promotions arm of the Philippine Department of Tourism, created under Republic Act 9593. So we are mandated to market and promote the Philippines as a premier destination for leisure, meetings, incentives, conferences, and exhibitions, MICE. So the TPB focuses on promoting the Philippines, both, both domestically and internationally, targeting 13 key and strategic markets. Flashed on the screen. Uh, are our 13 uh, key markets. If we can go to the next slide. Our mission is to market and promote the Philippines in partnership with our stakeholders towards a dynamic tourism destination. And our vision is to be the leading organization in marketing the Philippines as a preferred destination for sustainable, uniquely diverse and experience, experiential travel. Uh, next slide. So for our 2000, next slide, please. So for our 2023 financial performance um, from the TPB's fiscal year 2023 approved corporate operating budget of 1.28 billion, our actual budget utilization as of September 20, 2024 is at 97.93%. The balance will be considered as continuing appropriation, which is valid for obligation and disbursement until December 31, 2024. Next slide. For 2023, the TPB had over 103 implemented programs and was able to generate 7.8 billion in sales leads and 474 million in media values uh, flashed on the screen. Next slide. This is further broken down into our different departments. Uh, the TPB institutionalized events, international promotions, MICE promotions, domestic promotions, and marketing communications. Next slide. Here are some photos flashed on the screen of all our um, events in 2023. Next slide. Uh, we can go through the next. Next, and our awards and citations also next. And next. So for 2024 financial performance from the TPB's fiscal year 2024 approved corporate budget of 2.49 billion, our actual budget utilization as of September 30, 2024 is at 1.68 billion with a percentage utilization rate of 72.33%. Next slide. For 2024, the TPB currently has implemented 62 programs, leading to 5.27 billion in sales leads generated and 367.64 million uh, in media values generated with a 72.33 budget utilization as of September 2024. Next slide. So here is our phys physical performance broken down in the same format as last year. Next slide. Uh, sharing some of our awards and citations. Um, next slide. 
Okay, so for the comparative COB 2024 versus 2025, in 2024, our budget was 2.4 billion. Um, our proposed budget for 2025 was 1.9 billion. And on June 14, 2024, the TPB received a DBM confirmed budget level amounting to 1.3 billion. Next slide. So here is a, just a summary of our uh, utilization past years from 2019 to 2023. For 2024, COB of 2.4 billion is at 72.33, and we are confident that we will hit um, our target utilization rate of at least 90%. Next slide. So uh, this is a proposed budget outside of RNEP, uh, which is included in our proposal of the 1.9 billion. So uh, this totals 468. Can you, uh, please put it back to your NEP budget. Oh, okay, our NEP budget back here. Maybe this one, Madam Chair. Your NEP uh, 25 budget. Yes. Yeah, so it is 1.3. Um, 1.3 COB level confirmed. Um, do you have the breakdown in one page? Um, yes. Can we? Do we have the breakdown of the 1.3? Just in the pie. Show me the the hard copy here. Uh, I we will give you the hard copy of the 1.3 breakdown. Breakdown here. Yeah. No, but this is outside of this is that's outside of NEP. That was just uh the one the part of the proposal. Uh, here it is, ma'am, but uh, I know this is this is the 1.9 proposal. Can we give the 1.3? 1. Uh, 1. Your net of the agency is 1B, right? 1.3, madam yes. chair. And yes. the breakdown, please, of the 1.3. Okay. Don't you have a copy here, the breakdown of the 1.3? Mm -mm. Or just read it into the record if you if I have, have it. it. Okay. Oh, you don't have um what I have is the breakdown of the mar marketing uh and promotions operational budget. Uh but I think my team has it on file. We will we can flash it. If you don't have the breakdown, just show me the pie again, please. So okay. I can see it. Can we go into the pie again? Siguro next time uh, for ease of presentation, okay, you have the pie, then you have the break, the net budget 1.3, 1 to 3, and then your tier 2, which you're asking for 1 to 3, then you justify it. Okay. But yes, yung Madam Chair. Ng DOT, mother agency, nyo, ganun yung presentation clear. Okay, Madam Chair. Please read to me the 1.3. Can we go back to the pie? It's a slide, please, of the pie. Yeah, it's so personal services. It's actually super small. Can we go to I the pie can, here? Can we go back yeah. to the pie? To the slide of the pie? Yung tatlong red. Yeah, I have it here, but it's super small. Eh. Can we have it? Oh, yeah. So, um... Madam Chair here. So for personal services, it's 152. Uh, why does it say 1.9? Oh, 1.9 was our proposed COB. We were cut down to. We were cut down to 1.3, Madam mm. Chair. Here, what okay. will suffer if you only have your 1.3? So um, our. Uh, kasi, eh. Oo nga. Sorry, Madam Chair. Oo, Oo, nga. Is, Oo nga. Okay, this is uh, uh, an advice to those presenting. Mm -mm. And this is not just your agency, marami yan sa gobyerno. Mm -mm. Learn the art of communication. Communicate in visuals and in writing. And make sure, please, that the art cards or the visuals are understandable. Ang liit eh. mm -mm. Oh, Even mine here, ang liit. Mm -mm. So that we can help you better. Because sometimes it's meant to confuse. It, uh, yan, yan, i-close up nyo. Paano kayo tutulungan kung hindi nyo pinapakita sa amin? Mm -mm. Mm. Okay. Okay, P.S. 
the breakdown of markets and now what will suffer okay we are we go to the next page of your ask or your tier two Uh, the one before that, may I know, uh, before we enacted, in fact, I think I was co-author of this law with Senator Gordon then, before the creation of the Tourism Promotion Board, that was in 2009, right? 2009. Mm -hmm. Who performed your role? Um, before 2009, ma'am, we were the PCVC, um, the Philippine Conventions Bureau. Oh, that was still yes. the PCVC. It was still, PCVC. A, still a bureau. Still nice. Yes. Still a bureau under yes. the OT. Yes. It just renamed. We just Rena renamed. renamed lang, ma'am. PCVC. Yes. Okay. Um, so in this slide, we have our proposed budget outside of NEP, which was part of our 1.9 request, which includes, uh, which included the Arabian Travel Mart. Um, the Arabian Travel Mart is uh, one of the key shows around the world. So actually, last year, uh, uh, there were close to more than 46,000 professionals from over 160 countries gathered under one roof, and it's really a year-on-year -year increase of 15 percent. And our sales generated last year, uh, taking out the outlier, grew by 300 percent, Madam Chair. This year, we don't have budget for the Arabian Travel Mart. Is the Arabian Travel Mart held every year? Yes. Yeah. Where? In Dubai, Madam Chair. Mm. Mm -hmm. If you notice, we our, have oh, sorry, participated Madam in the Travel Mart every year. Every year. Yes. What your zero for 2025? Yes, Madam Chair. But there must be a reason why. Um. Uh, do the uh, Dubai is not part of our 13 key markets is why under the tourism promotions board and since our budget was cut we had to prioritize um the shows within our 13 key markets but this is uh list of the 13. yes the list of the where, want, is, where is uh, the list of the, the list is here can we go back to the we'll just read into the record please the 13 mm -hmm. that were prioritized and the Arabian Travel Mart was not included. Yes. Um, sorry. Let me get to the list. How many days is the Arabian Travel Mart? Um, three days, Madam Chair. Mm. How much does it cost? So in 2024, it was 21 million to mount. Where does a, what's the breakdown for 21M? Oh, we can give you the... Is that the airfare, hotel? No, is ma, the this food? is the rental of the booth, ma'am, and then um, the booking of the buyers okay. uh, to for the so, to meet with the so, sellers. So the 13, I would imagine, which is stand up, would be all the travel marts, whatever you call it, fairs, uh, expositions, markets, etc. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you read into the record, please, the 13 that were approved in the NEP and those that were not approved in the NEP, but equally important. Okay. Hold on, Madam Chair. Yes, but while I am uh, getting the exact we list. Uh, yes, we have a list. So to clarify, Madam Chair, the 13 key markets are our key markets, the markets that have 100,000 arrivals into the Philippines and up for a consecutive uh, two years. So these are our key markets. So that's South Korea, Japan. Um, what I'm asking for are the 13 travel marts, fairs, ah. shows, oh, the okay. name, okay. and okay. in what country, in what city, okay, stay here. and is it a biennial or annual or a triennial, mm -mm. and okay. uh, who selected the 13, was it DOT or DBM that cut it and only selected the 13? And then my next question is, how does a TPB assess the return on investment, as you said, by 300%? How do we see that on such investment? Mm -hmm. And uh, we have investment the 300% increase, okay. transform it into sales. How do yes. we see it? Tangible tourism arrivals and business opportunities. How do you measure okay. and quantify the investment? in promotions in the uh in the acts not access in the participation in the travel market first read please the 13. okay uh we have quite a number of shows within our 13 key markets madam chair so i can read through it quickly so first for example is the uh international boat show in germany so for example the okay, that boat 
Boot. 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 How do we pronounce it? Boot. What? International Boot Dusseldorf. Please spell boat. Spell. It's a uh, B O O T. What does B O O T mean? It's a like a boat show. Boat, boat. Uh, like a boat show. So it's like a boat show. It's dive, dive, dive adventure related in Germany. So for example, the investment into that is nine point seven million. Sorry, that's in your net. It, this is in my net. Okay. Yes. So, so let's go through it. Uh, boat show in Germany. Uh, where in Germany? 2023. Dusseldorf. Yeah. In Dusseldorf. Okay, next. Okay, next is this is 2023. Can we go 2020? Hold on, Madam Chair. This is my 2023 list. We will no, go. No, no. I, what I need is what is in your NEP approved in your 25 NEP and what was excluded from the NEP so that I can help you if it needs to be. Okay, Madam Chair. Yes. So in, in it, within the NEP uh, of my 2025 will be the Korea Travel Show, KTS. Uh, investment for that is around 5 million. The Busan International Trade Fair, 3.5 million. Dive Fam Trip from Korea. Three it's all Korea. So one, two, three are all Korea. Yes. This is, so uh, we are mandated to uh, take care of our presence in all our 13 key markets. Uh, and then from there, we have plans for every market. Okay. So this is the breakdown of Korea. For the 13. Ah, the, the 13. The 13 fairs. Okay. Are these 13 fairs? No, ma'am. 13, 13 key markets, jurisdictions. Yes. Ah. Yes. So, the 13 so we handle all. Oh, would be more than 13 fairs. Oh, yes. Definitely, yes. Or read the 13 jurisdictions, please. The, the 13 jurisdictions are South Korea, Japan, China, Singapore, Malaysia, Taiwan, Hong Kong, India, United States of America, Canada, United Kingdom, Germany, and Australia. Taken out, Dubai. Um, for the show, only Dubai, Madam Chair, because Dubai is not under our 13 key markets, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, the Arabian Travel Mart. If you notice on the NEP, um, our spend for that was around uh, 21 million, but the sales leads generated, as reported to us, was 430 million. I want to understand that. Okay. Mm -mm. Which travel show was this? That generated 21 million? No, the budget to mount the show is 21 million. Where? In in uh, the Arabian Travel Mart, Madam okay. Chair. Arabian Travel Mart yeah. is not part of your net. Yeah. So the budget to mount your booth is twenty one million. Twenty one million. Yes. And how much sales lead, and how do you quantify that? If it's a lead, mm -hmm. did it lead to? Yes. The business opportunities yes. and tourism arrivals. How do you measure that? So the sales leads are reported to us by our private sector partners who fly with us, who do the meetings with the buyers from around the world. So in this show, we had around 15 buyers with us and the say 50 sellers. 50 sellers with us and uh, the sales leads generated as reported to them by them to us was 430 around 430 million pesos and the investments only 21 million pesos 130 million pesos can be quantified through arrivals um so it's reported to us because those are bookings confirmations of uh, of uh, our private seller from the buyers that they booked for for travels into the Philippines. Okay, you bring the sellers there. Yes, physically. Yes. Do you spend for them? No, on their own. The, on their own. Yes, we subsidize That's there. Good. It's for the booth. Yes, the setting up. Okay. And the, and the appointments. What? So we pay. So for every private sector seller, they have a series of booked appointments. And let's say you bring ten sellers. Just yes. Mm -hmm. And they report to you after how many months and how do they quantify from everyone they talk to, ito ang nagbook, ergo 400 million. Ganun yes. Ganun, 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 so ganun you're yun, Madam Chair. Directly. Yes. Okay. Yes. Please give me, based on, maybe you're not able to measure 2024 yet, tapos, on your 2023 uh, travel, whatever you call it, travel mart, fair show, whatever. Yeah, nah. not the jurisdiction, but the show itself. Mm -hmm. How much did you spend for that? Mm -hmm. How many did you bring sellers? Mm -hmm. uh, what are they? 
um, tour, tour operators, operators travel resorts, agency, travel agency, resort owners, tour destination operators. management companies. Yes. 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 Iba, yan. Sinama do doon. And what were the reports to you? In numbers lang that they generated sales from, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Because it's not just people met. People to people meeting. Hindi lang ganun, di ba? Mm -mm. It's actually sales made. Yes. It's actually uh, people who came to the Philippines and booked in hotels and ate in restaurants and rode our buses. Uh, no, to clarify, and air, Madam and Chair. Airfare uh, generated, right? Yes, no. What is reported to us um, are their meetings and booked and confirmed appointments during the show. Confirmed appointments just for meetings. No, sorry, confirmed bookings. Bookings. Yes. Yeah, which will be realized in which, pesos and cents, right? Yes, yes. But uh, we are not able to to capture that when it's realized ah, but be sometimes to... when it's uh, confirmed okay. it can happen in the next few years or uh, you know, yeah yeah uh, okay. yeah yeah mm, mm -hmm. maybe a uh, part of your monitoring should be seeing it through because there could be meetings held pangako moa mm -mm, mm -mm. Wala mangyari. so we're not sure if it translates to actually tourist arrivals, airfare booked, paid for, buses rented, hotels stayed in and paid, and tours availed of. Yes. Right? Yes, Madam Chair. Moving forward, we can try to study how best we can capture that data. But um, we do have the report of our um, uh, arrivals. Uh, the, uh, yeah, versus... Okay, are spent into the market in your limited experience because you've only been there for one year or two years, right? One year. Mm -hmm. Which destination or no? Which uh, jurisdiction is most um, interested in coming for to the Philippines for conferences? Um, well, to share, Madam Chair, I'm told that the sales leads that we are seeing in the past two years are the highest ever that the agency has ever seen. Uh, to share, recently we were in Bangkok for a MICE show. Uh, it's called IT and CMA. And uh, the sales leads generated for just, I think, three or four uh, sellers were around 1.7 billion book conventions, um, conferences. So, and they say it's quite uh, promising. So, we constantly have conversations with our private sector partners on how we can do things better. And uh, they're saying that we're seeing very good numbers the past few years. So, I want to understand which of all the jurisdictions you visit and which of the trade fairs in those jurisdictions have generated the most interest for the Philippines. And in the Philippines, which province, region, city, municipality, area has been most uh, sought used, after, sought yeah. after yeah. of this? Yeah. O off your mind now. Which? O off the top of my head, Madam Chair, um, the biggest shows uh, in the world are the ITB in Berlin and the World Travel Mart in London. Okay. And uh, that's in your net. It's in our net. Oh, yes, yes. You go there. Yes, very important that we okay. uh, have presence there. Actually, since again our budget was cut, we really had to identify the top shows and why. Let's say the ITB in Berlin. What generated interest among your destinations that you're selling from the Philippines? We, I can get a full report for you there, Madam Chair. But in Europe, mostly uh, they 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 are into incentive travel, so into experiential tours into the Philippines. Ah, so wait to me, experiential tours and ah, sorry, ah, incentive travel. Yeah, for them to come into the Philippines, let's say to. Uh, Cebu, Bohol, um, still diving. We see a lot of diving still. Uh, we're trying to really promote our community-based tourism, to really bring them into our communities, Madam Chair. To add, actually, as we were talking about the community-based tourism of the DOT, in the Tourism Promotions Board, we have a small budget also to enhance further the PEP of the DOT. Uh, for instance, after they do the PEP, we then come in with... Uh, 
either um, designers or brand builders to partner with the different communities to create I mean, a collection or more uh, focused uh, support. May I here. know what do countries like Indonesia or Thailand or even Vietnam do that were not able to do due to budgetary constraints? Well, number one, ma'am, since the mice uh, industry lives within our agency, I think that is a big uh, opportunity for us to put budget into. Uh, it's part of our uh, request at the proposed budget outside of our NEP. It's called our Enhanced Mice Plus Program. So with this, we give incentives to big groups coming into the Philippines. So for instance, if there is a big group of 200, uh, we then say in government, we uh, will incentivize that group so we can host a dinner for 200 people with cultural entertainment which we further enhance so we would like to be able to support more big groups coming into the philippines San. and without that budget which is said which you said is in tier two it's not in your net what would you be doing oh we have a little we have 60 million in our net right now but it uh our proposed budget outside of NEP is 50 million Right now, there's 60. So we will be, sorry, 16, 16 million for the Enhanced Mice Plus program. So to um, further explain, to maybe host a dinner for a, a group of maybe 200. In short, without this budget, okay, 15. No support. Hindi niyo papakainin. Yes. Hindi kayo mag-host. Anong pang-host yes. ninyo? Walang pang-host, Madam Chair. And we only have to choose 15. Mga 1 million, ideally, yeah, to support a... To, right. so this kind of, uh, as detailed as that, based on your present budget, if you're to host an we cannot host, Madam Chair. We will own if no if na ubus na the fifteen, Madam Chair, then that's it. No, in your twenty twenty four we have the fifteen. Twenty twenty five within the NEP we have fifteen. In a twenty five budget, it says here enhanced mice. You have 15 in the 24. The 24, yes, yes. And in 2025, you have five zero. Yes. In your net. It, it says here, 2025 budget. 2025, that's a uh, no, proposed budget outside of net manage. That is uh, our proposal. Sana, that was not yes. yes. Your enhanced MICE Plus program in your net 25. 16 million. Hindi nakalagay eh. Oo. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, hindi natin nalagay dito. Oh. Usayin nyo ang presentations oh, nyo. Oh, Madam here. Chair, noted. noted. Yan o, mm -hmm. oh, 2024-15. Dapat, nandyan yung NEP. Kasi, what is this 2025? Is this an ask on Tier 2 which is not in the NEP? Or is this the NEP? Mm -mm. Sorry, Madam Chair. This is, this is... Uh, yes, let's maybe zoom, zoom out, out. So, we, so we see it's the proposed budget outside of NEP. All of all of all. No, no, just this enhanced minds. Okay, okay, proposed budget outside of NEP. Uh, the 2024 budget, the 15, is not the proposed budget outside of NEP because it's already 20. So, uh, yes, I'm yes. sorry, but yes, no what is wrong? Noted. It's confusing. Sino okay, ba yung okay. Ah, Madam Chair, no uh, Okay. Di ba? Mm -mm -mm -mm. How can it be a proposed budget outside of NEP when we're already end of 2024 ga a year? Mm -mm. So, is this 15M? Pasensya na, I have to be detailed. Kasi no, I, no, I noted, Madam because Chair. Because you confuse us, eh? Yes. Because the 15, is this the present year's ga -a? Is this GAA 25, 15? The right? 15 is GAA 2024. Anyway, ganito. Oh. Bigyan na lang yun sa akin para gusto ko yes, kayong tulungan eh. Yes, yes. Eh, kung yes, kinoconfuse yes. nyo ako, ano ba itong, bakit yung sa DOT budget maayos, itong gumawa ng art card ng TPB, iba? Noted, Madam Chair. Sino bang gumawa niyan? So, mm -mm. is the 15, the 15, what is this? It, it's not an ask because it's already the end of 2024. So it's not a proposed budget outside of NEP. The only proposed budget outside of NEP is a 2025-50, Yes, Madam Chair. Yes, yes. Oh, yun okay. lang dapat. Oo. Oo. Oh, oh. oh, oh. Kasi yeah. kung hindi ko kayo kinakausap ngayon, hindi tayo magkaharap, di pag pagbibigay ng staff ko yun, tatarangin ko rin sila. Sila mapapagalitan na magulo yung present matrix nyo. Okay. 
Okay. Unless somebody intend ko, ha? No, no, correct, Madam Chair. Yes, note that we will fix this. You're not asking for 15 outside of net because it's already end of 24. So you're, all you're asking is 50, but I need to know what was granted in net. Yes. So what is the net uh, enhanced price? And what is your ask? And what is the breakdown of the net budget? And what is the enhanced Mice Plus program tier two, where will it go? And the justification so that I can add. If Madam Chair, we will edit and send right away. Mm -mm.